The lawyer for Prince Andrew's accuser Virginia Giffer has claimed Prince Andrew just wanted out by settling with Giffer last year. Prince Andrew paid a settlement out of court to Ms. Jufre to settle her U.S. civil claim against him reportedly to the tune of £12 million without admission of liability. Ms. Jufre, whose maiden name is Roberts, said she was the victim of sex trafficking and sexual abuse by Jeffrey Epstein and also alleged that the Duke of York sexually assaulted her as well when she was 17 years old. The Duke has repeatedly denied the claims. Attorney David Boyce has weighed in on the settlement, alleging that the Duke went from rejecting a deal to striking one in less than a week. The Duke went from stonewalling us to a deal in four or five days, Giffer's lawyer has claimed. Speaking exclusively to Daily Mail, Boys alleged Andrew just wanted out even though the eye-watering sum caused substantial discomfort. Boys added that Andrew can restore his reputation, but only if he admits his sin by acknowledging wrongdoing in order for the public to forgive him. Prince Andrew vehemently denies wrongdoing. A judge in New York reportedly signed the court papers last year, marking the final stage of settling the sex assault case. There had been speculation about how Andrew might afford the settlement, which could cost millions of dollars. But the court documents stated at the time that each side will bear her slash his own costs and fees. A statement from the Treasury at the time, in response to a Freedom of Information request, ruled out any public funding, no public money has been used to pay legal or settlement fees. Don't miss! Ghislaine Maxwell brands Virginia Giffer's memory faulty, latest, Prince Harry's six coronation demands as Sussex's Mull UK return, latest, Harry and Meghan would turn coronation into must-see event, expert, latest, the signing of the papers by US District Court Judge Lewis Kaplan marked the end of the high-profile legal claim. The out-of-court settlement accepted no liability and Andrew has always strongly rejected claims of wrongdoing. But the prince agreed to pay a settlement to Ms. Jufre and to her charity for victims' rights. He also said he never intended to malign Ms. Jufre's character and he recognized she had suffered both as an established victim of abuse and as a result of unfair public attacks at the time. Now the Duke is reportedly considering a TV interview to rehabilitate his image. Speaking to DailyMail.com, Boys said that a TV interview wouldn't help Andrew's case especially after the Prince's disastrous BBC interview in 2019. However the lawyer does believe that a memoir might help his reputation, depending on what it said. Andrew is also reportedly considering writing a tell-all memoir in a bid to boost his finances and repair his reputation. We don't need another spare. Prince Andrew warned against writing memoir when asked if writing a memoir was a serious prospect, a friend of Andrew's told Daily Beast, it's being talked about regularly. Sarah, Ferguson, has had real success with her books and has great publishing contacts. Prince, Harry's book has proved that there is no shortage of appetite for stories about the royal family. Why shouldn't Andrew tell his side of the story now his mother is gone? A new express. Co.uk poll suggests there is little appetite for the memoir, with 86% of readers voting against it. In a poll that ran from 9 a.m. on Sunday, March 19, to 2. 15 p.m. on Tuesday, March 21, Express. Co.uk asked readers, should Prince Andrew write a memoir to boost finances? Overall, 1,746 votes were cast, with the vast majority, 
86 percent, 1,496 people, answering no Andrew should not write his memoir.